Okay, so this is how we know we're alive. Let's just do a quick check on menus and such. Nice ambiance sound. Again, sorry about the lights today. It's still warm, so I'm keeping it kind of on the darker side. Not like you want to die, so. Hey, what you up to? Hey, how's it going? How's Stockholm? Oh, are we getting, um, ghosted? Hey, it's been a while. Give me news. What's new with you? Lots of love. Sorry, just totally swamped in the office these days. Let's speak soon. I ran into Peter the other, the other day. Do you remember him? Would you believe he's a mechanic now? So much for his punk band, lol. Anyway, life's okay my end. Not much to report. It'll be so nice to catch up properly soon. Hey, let me know what might be a good time for you for a catch up. Uh, Sarah, there's something I want to talk to you about. Can you call me as soon as you can? ASAP. When you get this, if that's okay. It's really important. So sorry I missed this. I'm stuck at the office. It probably will be all weekend. Next week will be better, I hope. Three years later. Nope. Hello, hello, Harunga, I'm going to say. I don't know Swedish, so I apologize if I'm butchering it. It's not great to see you, to be honest. Guess I'll check if the flower shop is still open. Okay, so this is a... Not completely traditional in the sense that you do move around. Using the, uh... Arunga Centrum. Generous to call this the center of anywhere. Yeah, no. Not about to walk out into the fields. Long live the petrol station. The only place in town we could trick someone into selling us a beer when we were under 18. Piss weak 3.5% beer. But beer all the same. Click on objects I can inspect. We've already been doing that. Only Italians knew what we Swedes did to their beloved pizza. What was Maria's order? Something like pineapple and barbecue sauce? I would never admit it, but... Actually kind of delicious. Ah... Pizzeria Verona. I don't miss exams, but I do miss our post-exam pizza ritual. Oops. 
What was the name of the guy who used to live here? Sven something? Weird dude. Very into drones. My first boyfriend had a car just like this. Was it Sven? In fact, this might even be his car. Better keep moving. The only house I ever persuaded Maria to throw an egg at on Halloween. She put a written apology through the door the next day. Bless her. Maria's parents' house. It doesn't look like anyone's in. Same old curtains, though. This place always had a kind of sinister vibe. Looks like it's gotten worse. Okay. System Bolleger? No clue. The all important alcohol vault. Close on a Sunday, of course. I remember Maria's sister agreeing just once to buy this bottle of wine. The cheapest rosé they had. It was disgusting. We drank it all. A site of pilgrimage for the main religion of Sweden. Cycling. It's always the same things. Lost cats, church meetings, and and some for sale notices. Call Thomas. Great livestock for even better prices. I think I'll pass. Let's call him. Oh no, everyone has a monument, not a uh, phone booth. This monument commemorates the Great Harunga Flood of 1997. Five inches of water counts as a great flood, apparently. Let's say it looks like a like a Nokia phone or something. The bench where Maria knocked her front tooth uh, where Maria knocked her front tooth chipped. She didn't open her mouth at school for a whole week. Good evening. Hold on. That's not Sarah, is it? Hello, Elsa. My goodness, it's you. Hardly recognized you. It must have been years since. Ten years, yes. Ten years? It goes fast at my age, I tell you. Uh, I imagine it does. You'll feel it soon enough. Oh, but... Is it the 12th today? Gosh, it's been a year already. Just need to buy some flowers, really. You can't go without flowers, no. Certainly not. This bunch here is fine. Are you sure? I've got some lovely carnations in the back. I'm kind of in a hurry, Elsa. If you say so. And you're alright, are you? Fine. Thanks. Did you forget something, dear? No, I better be off. Okay, so it doesn't look like this is a... Tra at least from right now, it doesn't look like a traditional style uh, point and click where you've got an inventory. It's more just about the, the narrative, it seems. Gorgeous pixel art, though. I can hear the jingle just looking at it. I see a. I'm guessing something at a grocery store because of the truck, food truck. I see a. The beating heart of all dead end towns. As good a place to go and hang out as anywhere around here. 
Almost feels good to see it again, actually. Okay, I thought it was gonna let me go in. Ah, yes, Joseph. Consistently took the top spot in our rankings of the creepiest people in Harunga. He must be ancient now. A powder de set. I mean, it looks like a diner. Uh, a bar, apparently. To this day, I can't hear Take a Walk on the Wild Side without thinking of Saturday Night Karaoke here. Oh, bar sign. Deset. Apparently after the sign broke, they thought it would be cheaper to rename it instead of repairing it. Hilarious. Police station. Still have bad dreams about this place sometimes. Oh, wait, there's a. Okay, I was just making sure that I couldn't, like, read the menu. Ah, of course. Where else would everyone be on a Sunday? I have a vivid memory of setting the pews for graduation and promising myself that it would be the last of hundreds of hours I spent in here. We'd really been looking forward to it. Fancy tomb. Pretty damn fancy. I guess there has to be a reward for running this shithole for half your life. I was finding it strange that the only beautiful place in town was the one full of dead people. Grandma and Grandpa's grave. Maybe I should have gotten flowers for them too. Maria Burke, 1992 to 2019. There's still so many paths I haven't trodden. Where is that from? I don't know what people do with gravestones. Is it weird if I speak to you? I want to speak to you. But I also don't know what to say. Hi, Maria. I miss you, I guess, is the first thing. And I'm sorry I wasn't here for the funeral. Let's see, it wasn't my fault I couldn't back, get back in time, I just couldn't face it. I was too wrapped up in my own feelings. Uh, let's go with the third one. I was too wrapped up in my own feelings. So, here you are. You really never did leave after all. Just... why? I'm sorry. But you shouldn't have come with me. But you should have come with me. You wouldn't be here if you just... We had it all planned out. How could you have let this place keep you? I like this dress. You do? Ugh, no, it's crap, isn't it? So what are you wearing? Hmm? Don't make me stand here looking terrible all on my own. Where's your outfit? Oh, I'll decide on something later. Nothing fits properly. No, you're right. Probably be focusing on what actually matters. 
Booking the tickets. Yeah. So I was thinking we should get the bus to Stockholm on Friday and... Sarah. What? Sarah, I'm... Pregnant. You're... Pregnant. Pregnant? Yes, pregnant. Jesus. Okay, okay. And it's that guy's? Jacob? Okay, it's fine. Don't panic. We can sort this out. We can make an appointment. I don't need an appointment, Sarah. I'm gonna have a baby. You? I thought about it a lot, and it's what we want to do. I'm actually really excited. Wait. What do you mean, we? Me and Jacob. You mean your parents? Jesus Friggs can't make you do this, Maria. No one's making me do anything. But... How is this going to work out with us going to Stockholm? We aren't going to Stockholm. No, we aren't. I don't think I can now. Maria? I'm so sorry, Sarah. I wasn't sure how to tell you or when. I know how much this... Look, you can't have a baby. You can't have one just because this backwards Bible-bashing town expects you to keep it. You aren't listening to what I'm saying, Sarah. Well, I should at least thank you for giving me the heads up. Sarah. I have to go. I have tickets book. I wonder how long ago it would have been. That text the night you died. What did you want to tell me? You just can't let it go. And this all seems... In... Why would you be out driving on that road? Okay, so... I was thinking maybe she died during childbirth? But it sounds like some kind of car accident been thinking about it and thinking about it for the last year. And it just it just doesn't seem like an accident to me. Goodness. It really is you. Lena? Wow. Sorry, didn't expect to see you didn't expect to see me at my little sister's grave on the anniversary of her death. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, I'm sure. I must say, I'm surprised to see you too. Given that we didn't see you at the funeral. I'm sorry, I wish I could have been there. She missed you a lot, you know. I missed her too. Life just gets so busy, doesn't it? It's a little time to check in on dear old friends, right? We had fallen a little out of touch, yeah. It's one way of putting it. Do you see much of your family? Her son Johannes and, uh... I'm gonna go, I know the real name. I'm not gonna be the dick who, like, uh, doesn't. Jacob? I've been helping him out with Johannes from time to time. A terrible age to lose a parent. Can't imagine. So what keeps you so busy in the city? A copywriter at an advertising firm. I'm in charge of the copy for some bank accounts in my firm. I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm just copywriter and ad rising firm. I 
I don't know if this game has multiple endings. Good for you. That line there. There's still so many paths I haven't trodden. Where's it from? Oh, it's from a poem she wrote. One of the cheerier ones. It's beautiful. Yes, she never did give up on the writing. She turned her old bedroom into a sort of study. It's full of the stuff. I don't think poor Jacob had the heart to move any of it yet. And of course, there was the writing group that Gunal started. I'm sure you remember her. Unfortunately, yes. What else was she up to before she... Oh, you know, same old Maria. Mothering, church... Church? Yes, Sarah, church. I'm a little surprised by that, to be honest. I dare say there are lots of things you don't know about what Maria's life was like here after you left. Look, I kind of want to spend some time with my sister now. It was nice to see you. Hmm. God, what a bit. But I guess it's not so long ago her mom died as well. It's not like she ever particularly liked me. Yeah. It's not like she particularly liked me. She was always blaming me when Maria got in trouble. Christ. I just need to know. What happened to you, Maria? What did this town do to you? It's time to find out. Alright. Guess we're heading back. Maybe I should talk to Guno about the writing club she and Maria were in. Although I can think of a few things worse than talking to Guno. Surely that she can't still work at the supermarket in town. Frankly, I'm surprised that old bat's still alive. Oh, there's a strange sight. Teach! Sorry, that sounds weird now. You always watch too many American movies. It's just Philip now. I can guess why you're back. I think you can, yeah. Awful tragedy. Such a waste of potential. She always liked you, you know. Oh, I do now. Marie and I became rather good friends of a kind. I teach your son Johannes now. As a matter of fact. Oh, right. He's very bright, too. Knocked sideways by recent events, of course. But what have you been up to in Stockholm all these years? Writing? I do hope it wasn't only, only Maria who kept the dream alive. Um, I'm gonna be... Somewhat... Like a little bit pessimistic, optimistic. Like, yes, I write, but I write for a, a dead end job. Yep, still writing for an ad agency now. And it's all going well down there? It's a little lonely, but it's all right. Well, it's always nice to see an old student. I imagine you have lots of people to catch up with, so I won't keep you. 
I'm gonna stay and watch the game here if you're at loose end uh, if you're at a loose end later on thanks yeah although you'll find it hard not to run into your old sparring partner officer Nelson around here Sten Nelson is still surprised to be honest you and me both dreadful really that he was the one to break the news to us all about Maria God I'm so sorry he was the first policeman at the scene of the crash. Only made sense, I suppose. Peach. Sorry, Philip. Yes? Does Gunnel still work at the ICA? Oh, yes. It sounds like perhaps you'll find. <laughs> you'll have several places to avoid today. Well, see you later, maybe. Take care, Sarah. Thanks. You too. A waste of potential. Keeping the dream alive. Could Teach see it? That there was another life you wanted to lead? Now, which torture would I like to subject myself to first? Have my ear chewed up by Gunnel at the supermarket? Or endure Officer, ne uh, Officer Nielsen's attempts at humor at the police station? I guess the ICA has candy at least. Yeah. I see a. We'll wait on the cop. Hello, Gunnel. Who's that? It's Sarah. Sarah, who? I know you remember me, Gunnel. I see a lot of people in my line of work. Don't remember all of them. Just... whatever. I need to ask you something. Oh, hold on, are you the girl who left town? Yes. The one who ran off with another woman? The lesbian? No, Gunnel. Listen. Oh, it was awful. Her parents broke their hearts. Should have seen them. Can I please just ask you something? I suppose so. Depends on what it is. Look, you're in a writing group? I'm a founding member of the Harunga writing group, yes. If you wanted to join, I'd have to ask the rest of the group. We don't just take anybody. I don't want to join. I want to ask you about Maria. Ah, yes. Such a shame. Uh, yes, but she was in the group too? Oh, yes, yes. She was a good enough writer. If only she hadn't written about such dreary, awful things. Like what? Oh, it was always death this, death that. Depressing. And before she died? She was writing about that kind of thing? Well, to be perfectly honest, I can't say. As she didn't have the decency to turn up to the session that week. She didn't show up? That week before she died? And we were very clear that non-attendance should be announced before. Why didn't she come? She didn't say. But Callie, you know Callie. Odd family. He has that wife who's some sort of oriental place. Weird woman. Stop, please. What about Callie? He said he'd seen her around that week of... Seen her around that week all of so out of sorts. What do you mean? Head in the clouds, distracted by something. That's what I heard. Not herself. Why are you asking? Weren't you two thick as thieves? So you do remember me. A little, I suppose. It was rude of her not to tell me what she was going to com 
Okay, I'm done. You. Goodbye, Gunno. Well, you're welcome. God, I'd like to give her a piece of my mind one day. Another time. If I ever come back here, that is. Not herself. I wonder why she didn't go to her writing group. Ugh. Okay. Talk to, time to talk to Chief Inspector Dickhead. Ugh, not looking forward to this. Alright. Here we go. You can tell if that's a um, scarf or like a pretty good beard. I think it's a scarf. Sten Nilsson has your service. Hello, Sten. Well, well, well. If it isn't Little Miss City Slicker, Sarah will do. But they don't know about your delinquent past down in Stockholm, do they? Still shoplifting? I was 14, Sten. Once a thief, always a thief, they say. Come to turn yourself in, it is. A night in the cells for old time's sake. Wanted to ask you about Maria. Oh. Oh, yes. The anniversary. Well, I suppose she's not getting up to her old tricks anymore, at least. Please don't speak about her like that. Alright, alright. Don't speak ill of the dead and all that, I suppose. Go on, then. Fire away. You're the one who was called to the scene, right? Of the crash? I was, yes. Where was it? Don't you know? You really did cast us all off, didn't you? Please just answer the question. Let's interrogate him. As you please. It was out on the main road south, about an hour down. Nearer to Stockholm than here, almost. Why on earth would Maria be out on that road? Am I a mind reader, Sarah? And so what happened? Oh, you know how fast it gets dark at this time of year. And that old road. Branch in the way or something. She skidded off the side and onto the rocks below. Good thing it was me who got called, really. Telling the family should always be left to someone senior. And I'm head of the precinct these days, you know. Right. Can I get back to my work now? You can get back to scratching your arse, yeah. If you continue to disrespect this office, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Suits me just fine. Chief of the Precinct. Oh my god. What was she doing out on that road? Hmm. Nina said Jacob hasn't cleared the things from her old room. Why they decided to leave her parent live in her parents' creepy old house, I cannot imagine. Maybe I should talk to Jacob. I wonder what he's like now. Okay, so they're living in the parents' old house, so I wanna say it's to the left, I believe. I, I don't recall it was the uh It was the White House? Might be thinking in reverse. Nope, I'm thinking the right way. Good old Bible Basher HQ. Maria's room used to be on the second floor. Hello? 
door seems to be open. Uh. Hello? Oh. Sarah? What are you doing here? I didn't mean to barge in. The door was open. Yeah, they usually are around here. Sorry, maybe this is a bad time. I can... No, it's fine. Sorry, I just wasn't expecting you. I'm just back for the day, really. Okay. May I come in? Sure, of course. Come into the dining room. Pretty strange to be back at this house. I can imagine. Would you like a coffee? Only if you're making some. That'd be nice. Sure. This is too awkward. Oh. Hello. You must be Johannes. Yes. And nice to meet you, Johannes. I mean, we've met before. But only once, and you were very small. Well, anyway. Where's my dad? He's in the kitchen. Do you want me to get him for you? No, it's okay. It seems like we're out of coffee. I haven't really had time. Oh, don't worry. Johannes is so big now. Yeah. I'm shy. And today is not a good day. Of course. How are you? Oh, you know. Today is... I understand. But I'm alright. It's good. Feels like another lifetime when I was last here. Hmm. What year is Johannes in now? Fourth grade. He's getting stuck into his hockey. We both have, really. Good distraction. Right. Yeah. Why are you here, Sarah? In Harunga. It just seemed like the right time. Hmm. Right. Jacob, do you think it would be okay if I had a look in Maria's old room? I'm afraid it's not really tidy. I haven't really gotten around to. No, that's okay. Sure, if you want to. Thanks. It's up the stairs, and... You remember where it is, of course. It won't be long. Maria. That top she's wearing. I can't remember if it was mine and she stole it. Or I just borrowed it so often that it felt like mine. Oh god. It hasn't changed at all. That's... Weird. Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. She was always trying to get me to read her stuff. Not sure why I never did. She really was still writing. Poetry mostly, it looks like. How long a road must lie ahead between the light and me. Is this what you wrote about, Maria? There we are. <laughs> I 
It always looks so small from up here. It is small. It's tiny. I'm gonna miss these forests, though. They've got plenty of forests in Stockholm, Maria. And anyway, we won't have time. Between the literary festivals and the parties, we're not going to be very successful writers if all we do is go to parties. I'll write the great American novel in the mornings. American? It's a figure of speech, Maria. <clears throat> You're going to love it. And speaking of love, you're such a dick. How's your new moped guy? What's his name? You know his name. Hmm. J something. Jacob. <laughs> right. It's good. I like him. Huh? You think he's stupid. I didn't say anything. No, but I know what you think. Look, I didn't say. It's okay. You just happen to be wrong about him, that's all. Okay, okay, you say so. How long is it now? Eleven months, Sarah. Eleven months. Leaving this shithole can't come soon enough. to look at in this room. Hmm. What's this? A system bolaget receipt for two bottles of vodka. Wait. This is from... Is. It's from the day she died. She used to hate vodka. Why would she... I should go. I don't imagine Jacob wants me hanging around too long. Must be quite nostalgic for you. The room, I mean. It was. Jacob. I hope you don't mind me asking. Where were you and Johannes on the day that... On this day last year, we were at a hockey game, actually. It seems impossible to think about us enjoying ourselves that afternoon now. But Maria got us tickets and to a hockey game. She usually comes too, but she said it was a special father-son treat. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Thank you. It's good luck back in the city. Thank you for having me. So, in the afternoon she died, Maria sent them off to a hockey game. Because she wanted them out of the way? That's insane. The police would have investigated the possibility of that. But the police means Officer Nielsen. He easily could have just assumed it was a road accident. Without really thinking about the alternatives. Elsa? Yes, my dear. Can you remember? Mine like a steel trap I've got. Don't let the wrinkles fool you. Did you happen to see Maria on the day she died? I did. I did. Must have been one of the last people to do so, I would say. She was coming back this way. Funny look about her. What do you mean, funny? Oh, sneaky looking. Mind you, I looked sneaky too. 
if I was off buying great big bottles of alcohol in the middle of this afternoon. Of course, it's easy enough to keep tabs on who's a little too fond of the drink these parts. Standing here all day as I do. She had a system bowler jet bag, didn't she? She did. Point blank refused to tell me what she had all that drink for. I'm no busybody, you know. I do it for the public good. Okay, okay. Thanks, Elsa. Bye bye now. <clears throat> Surely someone else has put two and two together. I should speak to Lena. Why would she not have said if? Hopefully she's still at the grave. I don't know if that's the best thing to bring up. The possibility that um, your sibling may have committed suicide rather than got into an accident. I thought I might see you again. I'm kind of in a hurry. I... Cigarette? No, thanks. Are you alright? You seem... How could I be alright? No, quite right. None of us are today, really. Philip, do you happen to remember what you were doing on this evening last year? Do I remember? Goodness. I'm not sure how I could forget. Where were you when you heard? Where? Has nobody... Gosh, no, I suppose you wouldn't know. I was at Maria's house. We all were. I mean, I was, and Johannes, and Jacob, and a few of Maria's other friends. What? Why? I wish I knew. It was all quite mysterious. She invited us all to come around that evening. But she wouldn't quite say why. What did she say? She said that all would be revealed, but we weren't allowed to know beforehand. So, we were all there like at seven, as she asked. Of course, she never arrived. Instead, we got Officer Stem at the door with an awful news. What did you think you were all there for? It's odd. In all the shock of what happened, I hadn't really thought about it much. I guess I assumed that she wanted to tell us something. It must have been terrible. Oh, of course it was. But it was strangely kind of a blessing. Though we were all together, I mean. Almost as if she knew. Need to find Lena. No problem. Give her my best. stopped you. Why didn't nobody else stop you? How can I make it up to you? What should I do? You deserve for people to know the truth. No matter how painful it is to hear. I have a... Okay, we've already read this one.
Is she gone? As the Peter's Commission would be gone. Oh no, she's still there. Lena. Hello, Sarah. I need to talk to you. Are you alright? You look... No, I'm not alright. I have to tell you something. I... Okay. Did you know? Excuse me? No, okay. Okay. Sarah, what are you? Please. It's not right. What's not right? It's not right that nobody knows how... How terrible her life had become. Getting pregnant all those years ago. It just trapped her here. And stifled her dreams of getting out of here. And becoming a writer and seeing the world. And she spiraled deeper and deeper. Into this dark, horrible place. And nobody saw it. Nobody saw how bad things had become. Even though it was right there in the thing she wrote. It should have been there for her, but it wasn't. Nobody was. And when she got blind drunk and drove herself off the road, nobody knew her well enough to see that she see what had really happened. How was that possible? Sorry, I shouldn't be. This must be so hard to hear. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sarah. You need to calm down. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You should be. Calm down. I'm gonna show you something. What? Just come with me. We're going inside the church? Yes, we're going inside the church. It won't kill you. There's an even sub service tonight. Being held in her memory. I don't understand. Why are we... Look around. Look at all these candles people had lit. Flowers, letters, pictures of her. Did you think she wasn't loved? Isn't missed by anyone in Karunga every single day? Mourned by countless people here that you've never bothered to get to know? But, no, Sarah. There is no but. You think what? That after you left here all these years ago, that she just ground to a halt? Hmm? That her life here can only have been small and sad by comparison to yours? No, Lena, let me... Let me explain the evidence. The evidence? Who do you think you are? What do you think is happening here? This is real life, Sarah. Real life in which my beautiful baby sister died in a car accident. But why did she buy all that vodka? The vodka? What the hell are you talking about? The receipts in her room for all that alcohol and the, and the party or gathering you all had together so that when she died... For God's sake. And the stuff she was writing. Those dark poems. What? Writing about death means you're going to kill yourself? How can you... The party. Alright, I'll tell you what the party was for. 
She'd been working on a book. A novel, I guess. She hadn't let me read it. I sent samples to an agent who wanted to take her on. That's what the party was for. To share her good news. I... Yes? Why did Philip not know that? Philip? She'd only told me. I suppose I never did tell him, no. We all had other things on our mind. But that's... That's wonderful. Many things in her life were wonderful, Sarah. It's a pity you hated this place too much to find that out. I'm... But then why was she on that road? Where was she going? Lena? Look. Please understand that there were two reasons I didn't share this with you before. Firstly, it's upsetting. Secondly, I didn't think you'd deserve to know any more about her life, to be honest. Please, Lena, where was she going? She was going to Stockholm. To find you. She wanted to... I don't know. Surprise you with her good news? She said you were stuck in your office all weekend. So she was going to go shopping in the city and tell you her news in person. And then get back in time for the party. I told her it was a ridiculous idea, but she was really set on it. And sharing it with you. So, yes. That's why she was out on the road that day. You are why. don't know what to say. I do. You thought it was impossible that living here could make someone happy. That having a husband and a son and a family could make someone happy. I'm so sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. What, like coming up here to play detective? You saw what you wanted to see. And what you wanted to see was confirmation that she chose the right path. And that she didn't. Lena, I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's too late for any of that. The service will be starting soon. I think it would be best if you didn't stay. I'm so sorry, Lena. Goodbye, Sarah. I think it's time for you to go, Sarah. Man, I was not thinking this game was going to be so bleak. She's right. I should go. I guess we'll go uh, visit her grave, I'm guessing. Excuse myself. It hurts because if you... If you were here, you would. Forgive me. For all my... My selfishness. Stupidity. And because you were... You were just the most... Lena's right. I hardly know you at all. 
But that's the thing, isn't it? You aren't here. And if you were, none of this would have. And if I had been there for you, then you might still be here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry not to have deserved our friendship better. I love you. And I can't believe I left it this late to make it clear. I really do. Even though I'm so bad at it. Goodbye, Maria. Congratulations, too. On the book. I bet it was beautiful. expecting the tone of this game to go so so bleak again I had assumed again like the character that uh, her friend had killed herself but it appears that it was indeed an accident and now we have to live with that guilt was how we know we are alive. Yeah, that was um I mean, honestly yeah, very a very depressing game. Um but it was a story that I think that needed to be told. It's it's far too easy to kind of get into that mindset of um your your hometown is a is a shithole. You'd never want to come back to it. Um, which I mean, I I certainly had that feeling myself when I uh, when I had moved away. Like I went to college the furthest I could, still within the state, because uh, I just didn't want to be around the town, mostly. Um, and then of course I moved, and I wasn't living here for a good like eight years. And, like, I've now kind of come back to the general area, and it's, I've seen it a completely different light now. Um, you know, the things that used to um, annoy me about it, you know, are kind of, you know, there, there's there's a charm to it that I just didn't realize before. Um, anyways, that was uh, How We Know We're Alive. Uh, the game is available on itch.io uh, if you want to check that out. It is a, um, a pay-what-you-want game. So be sure to check that out. Uh, I'll be putting a link 